Hey everyone, how you doing today? I will take another look at the workshop and see what was out there and got a lot of very cool creations of a lot of different types and styles and everything going on again today. So everything that I'm showing is going to be in Reforged Eden. I believe there's a couple creations that aren't necessarily specific um, and if they are I'll try to uh, make sure you know about that. So very first creation here today is the Prophecy Reforged Eden by Ente. And uh, very cool looking uh, uh, CV here. I love the uh, the color scheme on it. That that kind of uh, multi different tones of tan mixed in with some darks in the uh, in the in the uh, setup here, like around this uh, this radar emplacement on the back. Uh, yeah, it's really really cool. Oh, I have my light on. Sorry about that. And look at that bridge. That bridge is uh, really crazy looking here, or cockpit I would say. Um, that's really cool. Looks like we got a uh, front-facing hangar, at least when it's on the ground. Uh, probably triggered by the landing gear, I wouldn't doubt. I, I believe that opened up when I uh, parked it here. Uh, quite a few uh, spotlights on here. I like the, uh, I like the uh, use of this newer block uh, around the, uh, the round edges here. That looks uh, very appropriate there. Keeps everything nice and smooth. Again, some... Uh, Really nice uh, texturing on here as well. Oh, on the back side. Oh, I like that uh, big setup of texture lights kind of going across there. Uh, kind of in between, more like a, like a framework going on there. Yeah, that uh, looks nice. Very sharp, very sharp. You can see some different tone differences between parts of it too. Like this a little bit darker, more of a tan beige color than the, uh, the rest of it. Or other parts of it. And then there's some grays in here, and then obviously the darker, the darker grays. Yeah, there's quite a few colors in here to actually make this uh, all come together the way it is. But yeah, really nice looking uh, color theme. Um, I think the author normally does stuff a little darker, but I I, I know the author uh, fluctuates a little bit too um, with uh, the styling on uh, one one creation to another. But uh, yeah, it looks really really sharp here. Take a good look at the bottom here, bottom center. Okay, yeah, and very detailed too. You can see all the different textures and texture lights and everything going on in here. Color fluctuations, um, just a lot of different stuff being used in here to and uh, spiff up the detail everywhere. Basically, yeah, looks looks really good. All right. Well, anyway, um, so for what I'm uh, gathering here. This kind of looks like it is a starter. Now, we do have a couple uh, weapons down over here. Uh, a couple minigun turrets on the bottom side. There's probably some more on the uh, the ship that I haven't seen yet. But uh, let me adjust the lights and we'll get aboard here and see what's going on. Don't want to try to get it kind of dark, but we'll, we'll see how the lighting is on the inside here. Yeah, it looks good. looks like it's uh, well lit. So yeah, as soon as you get into the uh, the hangar, you've got a kind of looks like a full medical bay uh, on either uh, or both sides there. So you got all your specialized pieces plus your uh, your med bay itself, and then an advanced constructor back over here. Probably a slot to add in something else over there. In fact, you know, before I go through the ship, oh yeah, look at that. The author has been putting in a P menu option on a lot of creations um, that have upgrade markers. So I'll turn that on before I walk through here. So. If there's any upgrade parts that are meant to go in certain areas, there's probably an LCD indicator for that. We also got a shower up in here too, which is really, really cool. So let's get up this elevator here. We got Wi-Fi right above. Looks like a, con a container controller right there. And then we're into, um, yeah, it looks like a chill out area here. We got our food processor, fridge, place to sit down. We got a room right in the center here. It looks like a lot of, uh, Probably here. Let me turn on my flashlight here. So we got our uh, gravity generator. Uh, looks like we got some O2 down below. Probably shared with the floor below. Uh, our main core and it looks like a basic CPU core. And obviously places to put some more CPU uh, blocks or at least another one in that room area there. Let's go back this way here. Oh wow, we've got upgrades all over the place over here. So we got some generators in the mix here. Um, here I'm not bring up the lighting a little bit more the game is just so brutally dark um, all right so we got a warp drive right over here 
that's that's cool that's kind of uh set to fit on one side and it looks like we have some shield upgrade uh, locations here that would kind of connect to these round ends and uh they're two blocks long look like they would uh link up to the other side there it looks like they're installed in place so yeah some shield upgrade pieces as well so we got a ladder going down to the warp drive which is usually needed it's probably a 30 uh light year warp drive right now but you do need to manually uh, uh walk up to one of those to upgrade them in game so i'm sure the author wanted to make sure the player could do that pretty easily the ladder touch is really cool and it looks like a lot more places for uh other parts here we got a large generator um, and more uh, shield pieces out through this section. So this side's uh, different than the other side. Uh, we got our Pentaxa tank over here. Looks like we've got the uh, the smaller uh, Reforged Eden specific shield in here, and then a whole lot more uh, shield up upgrade pieces that would link into these slots over here. So yeah, it looks like you could bring up the shield uh, to a decent level on here, which is... Uh, nice i mean it's just uh, i'm i'm definitely guessing it's a starter everything about it is just screaming starter so we'll find out in the specs here in a little bit oh this is cool so now we're up into the bridge and the bridge got some utility function here too we got our our armor locker and o2 couple passenger seats i love the lcds around here and then this really cool looking front bridge display with oh check out the lcd work going on in here Oh, that's cool. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of like wrapping around the whole area, uh, going around the angle to uh, kind of matching that up the glass work. It takes a little bit to build these LCDs. You gotta, you gotta do a lot of, uh, lining things up. And, uh, these are all like little blocks that are kind of put together and rotated in the LCD to do that. And there's multi, uh, at least two LCDs in the mix here because you got this other, uh, angled one here, which, yeah, that, that looks really good. That, that's that that's really cool looking there It'll light up at night so you know exactly what's going on yeah nice nice attention to detail there and it looks like we've got a quick way into the uh the cockpit or bridge area as well uh right up top here um nice very convenient for gameplay so you don't have to go through the whole ship in a hurry to get to uh to, to fly it around and uh get back in it after you get attacked after loot the poi or something yeah, it's really, really cool. All right, so let's take a look at some numbers here. So we'll start with uh, size class 2, unlock level 12. Definitely fitting in that starter uh, CV realm. 39 forward, uh, 19 strafing, 39 lift, 39 reverse, and 39 down. So pretty balanced thrust for the most part. Uh, six fuel tanks, two oxygen tanks. We've got two minigun turrets, two sensory guns, a detector and uh four hour and 21 minute build time uh no use of estrium or zacosium in here at all so yeah definitely a starter uh cv uh setup here so you got your hangar you got your med bay uh we'll take a look at the storage here in a second cpu oh look at that so yeah it is running just just what we saw the main cpu core and one single basic cpu core bringing it to 400,000, and it got quite a lot left over so i mean you can do some upgrades right off the gates without upgrading the cpu on the uh, on the creation and speaking of that too there's some more ex uh exterior upgrade markers here too for adding some uh turrets over here it looks like some uh some more thrusters i replaced those a couple of those uh lights over there and put in uh some more reverse thrusters Let's just take a quick look around backside oh yeah more uh, places to add in some forward thrust that's cool how they uh the author does that it's hard to fit the lcds depending um i know they seem pretty small and dinky and stuff like that but it is uh challenge challenging often to find a place to put those in a creation within range um and uh, a lot of times they have to be orientated at a in a particular direction to make them work right not bleed into the walls and things like that that looks good at night here too all right so let's take a look at your uh so cpu let's look at storage here so the prophecy here so we got an ammo controller at 253k and uh main controller here at 284k so yeah but yeah a little over uh 500 and like 550k of uh overall storage uh 
you probably you know right off the gate you probably don't need that much for the ammo but you could put anything in the ammo con controller and you need an ammo controller regardless so it's kind of like overflow as well you could uh, put stuff in there as well when you're uh, cruising around besides ammo um obviously you got to put your ammo in there but um other than that yeah that's that's really cool really cool nice sharp look at uh starter cv uh, a lot of these starter cvs uh, yeah yeah it might not look like too much but uh this looks really good a lot of upgrade options going on here too with this um and lastly here take a look at the p menu options and we did have some other uh, options here we got uh, for sensory ramp and hangar so i'm wondering uh they might, uh, because I landed, it might override this, but that might be a, just a manual way to open up the uh, the hangar doors uh, when you're flying in the air, things like that. Um, yeah, very, very cool. So again, this is the uh, Prophecy Reforged Eden by Ente. Very, very nice. A lot of upgrades you can do. And obviously, I believe this radar is fake on here. Yeah, it is, uh, but that, that'd be uh, another upgrade uh, thing, too. You don't really ne necessarily need to say that, but if you're familiar with Reforged Eden, there is a, uh, a long-range radar you could put in place of this Deco Vanilla model that actually uh, functions as uh, at least double the range over that of a uh, standard detector for um, flying around in space and things like that. So, yeah, again, very cool, very cool creation there. So the next one on the list, this is a... Um, uh, Warhammer creation, I do believe, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. This is the uh, Mechanicus Tyrant class by K. Um, it could be by K1. I'm not sure. I might have a typo on my uh, on my sheet over here, but uh, for some reason it's got a 1 by it. It could be K1 or it could be just author K either, either way. But uh, yeah, really cool uh, hall design here. A lot of complexity going on in it. Yeah, I like that. This uh, kind of this rigid uh, look. Quite a tall uh, creation as well. It almost looks like it has a bit of like a kind of a Warhammer uh, cathedral kind of area over here. It's hard to say. Uh, Warhammer's got some uh, interesting uh, space. Uh, j just the whole uh, theme about it. Uh, pretty interesting. It's a little little different than the uh, the norm. Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely like the block work. A lot of a lot of things going on here. This uh, like the angle and these uh, these round pieces over here. That's uh, cool. It just adds a lot of detail to uh, creation here. It looks like we got a big uh, artillery uh, turret right up on the front side there. Kind of another room over here with these the same style of windows, which is really cool. Kind of taking those pieces and. And uh, uh, having them kind of spun up vertically like that, that looks really cool. Oh, really cool looking uh, thruster uh, setup here too. I like that with the, uh, the thruster separation. And they'll have their own uh, like sections in here with the, the pipes and everything. Very, very cool. Yeah, that's neat. That's neat. Cool looking uh, hull design for sure. All right, so let's. Uh, I've got to find a way aboard here a minute. Um, I don't have it on the ground. I didn't know if it landed or not. I wouldn't think so, but it can be deceiving as well. But it kind of looks like it's very uh, space orientated. And now it wants to fall on me. Did you run out of fuel? No. <laughs> Just the game. The game likes to do those kinds of things. Um, occasionally, it's hard to explain when and why. But it does do weird things like that. All right. Well, I'm going to go up through this uh, this lower hangar bay over here for now. And we'll see what's going on on the inside here. So it looks like... Uh, oh, yeah. This goes right up through the top. No, this goes up another deck. So Okay. So we've got a deck down here. Um, big old blast floor on there. Blast doors. We got a couple uh, interesting walkways that kind of come through the area. Uh, we do have some lighting too, so let me adjust the lighting a little bit here. Don't want to go too dark though. Let's try something like that. And that's pretty interesting. I've got, I got to figure out what it, what are we looking at over here? Oh, that's just the uh, 
that's just the blast doors but for some reason with the uh the force field over this area it makes them like light up blue or something i don't know that's just that's interesting it just uh doesn't look like anything i've really seen before um i think it's just uh one of those weird things with the game where it uh, makes it kind of look that way because it draws in those border lines around here. So you're just looking at like the blast door standard graphics, but now they're uh, highlighted blue like that, which is actually really cool. Huh, interesting. Okay, so anyway, um, I believe you'd just kind of come up through this room and park somewhere in this floor. A lot of space for that. And I got some utility function up in here. Uh, armor locker in O2. And, uh, yep, I got, got some more of that on the other side. Got a place for, uh, I got a repair bay here. And it looks like a repair console right up front over here. Some storage boxes. It's in the hangar. Uh, interesting, uh, uh, ceiling setup here. Um, let's go, I'll go, f oh, actually it doesn't go, f oh yeah, it does. Let's go forward first and I'll try to go to the back part of the ship here. So we've got uh, obviously a lot of room. You could put in a lot more parts and shields and, and or shield pieces. Well, I don't know what the ship has in it right now, but uh, definitely a lot of room to put some things in here. And kind of looks like oh, this is more of a kind of looks like a ammo loading bay. Kind of like if you were on a a bigger ship that's uh, running some big torpedoes or something like that. Almost like a kind of push them into some launchers and I believe that what that's what uh, this is trying to kind of like, like simulate there which is really cool I like seeing that uh, RP value there and this place for stasis I would say uh, moving your uh, your crew or uh, military commandos or whatever uh, put them to sleep while you're doing a long space journey and let's head back this way here so we've got a Big hole here. I get a lot of room to put in um, all kinds of stuff. A couple doors off to the side there. Looks like we got a uh, uh, four-pack of uh, one by three generators in this this area, kind of uh, covered up by the glass there, which is really cool. Let's uh, see what's going on in here. Okay, so we're up to an elevator, and we're actually at the top floor of that elevator. So this would probably, we'll have to go down again because there is some uh, some more stuff down there as well. We got another floor kind of above here. You can see the balcony up there. Um, let's go up this way and get off at the next floor here. So yeah, just kind of taking a look at that generator pack here again on the second tier or second level. I like the uh, the the sign it's just yeah the way it's uh, colored and textured that uh yeah it's pretty cool oh i'm gonna get into a uh, cafeteria over here mess hall very cool you get your fridges and then all that kind of fun stuff in there a couple different kinds of fridges some o2 a lot of places to sit and chill and eat and we're going into uh, we got the red light okay so that gets us up to the uh this area here we can go up again here too Let's see where this goes. Ah, up to, uh, looks like a uh, bridge, I believe. Yeah, this is, uh, that's a legit pilot seat. That's just a passenger's seat there. Or at least one of the, the places you can fly the ship at. I believe it's going to have another one yet. But, um, yeah, that's cool. Like the, uh, the cutout on the ceiling there with the, uh, the round block work and things like that. Um, uh, so I think both these are just, okay, so we're at the top floor there. It's, uh, okay, so this is how we, uh, we came in this way through here. Is there anything beyond this door here? Ah, yes, another, another floor going up here, another deck. I'll check this out. So this is that other, uh, this is the area where I thought the, uh, the main bridge would have been by looking at the, uh, outside of the ship here. I don't know if I'm right or not, but yeah, it kind of looks that way. There's a pilot seat on either side over here. Oh yeah. So we're kind of sitting way back in this, uh, general part of the ship here. Marble flooring, got some different wall, uh, textures and things like that. A lot of place for, uh, 
crew members monitoring all the battle stations and whatnot. And some O2 up in here as well. Blast door there. All right. Um, I want to get. I'm gonna fly through here a little bit. I want to get back to a uh, this hangar here. Actually, I haven't been here yet. Have I? No, we got a production room. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't have flown through the wall now. Let's just try to save a little bit of time. This is what I was looking for is this whole floor over here because I, uh, you could kind of see it from when we first came in. Got these uh, very unusual uh, glass-like uh, suspended hallways that go across the top there, which is really cool. The game always does a w this weird effect with glass, like even though there's no windows to the outside it like shows reflections of the outside which is kind of disorientating but kind of cool if if uh at the same time it's just kind of a kind of a strange thing there what we got over here oh we got a full medical bay over here oh very cool so there's a lot going on on this deck it looks like kind of like the uh, main deck you'd probably hang out on most of the time with your uh, production and the med bay looks like we got our other utility functions there some crew rooms as well on both sides there yep um got some more uh elevator going down and what do we got here it looks like some uh more officer rooms over here a little bit bigger uh less beds in them a couple captains uh area yeah or just a bunch of officers ah very cool so yeah big uh crew area up over here And then, of course, this uh, medical bay. Looks like it's got everything in there, too. I do believe. That's a pretty interesting visual, though, coming through these uh, these hallways here with the uh, glass. And then this area here, we've got a big old ramp in here, but a lot of... Uh, uh, Cargo uh, extensions in here, plus uh, a couple advanced constructors. And it looks like we got uh, probably power switches for the constructors there to save a little juice when they're not in use. And a lot of storage and a whole lot of uh, armor repairs going on here. Uh, let's see what this opens up to. This gets down into... Huh, interesting. Like a, another hangar over here. That goes into uh, a fuel room. Well, it's not really a hangar, is it? It's is there any way in from the outside on the ship? No, it's just kind of a big open room here, I would say. Um, yeah, interesting. And a fuel and O2 room back over here, and a bunch of parts uh, uh, on display over here. Looks like uh, some CPU core blocks in there, our warp drive, our shield, a couple advanced generators. Uh, looks like a couple RCS units as well. Like the pipe work going on around in here. Yeah, very cool. So I, I, I don't know if I've seen every uh, nook and cranny of the ship, but definitely seen quite a lot of it there. So yeah, very, very uh, big ship there. Um, looks like there's some other rooms here. I just flew into something. I don't know if it has any like uh, access from the. Uh, the inside of the ship over there or not but uh, yeah very very cool uh ship going on here let's see what's uh happening with its numbers here so we are on lock level 25 size class 12 uh 22 ford uh three strafing six lift uh three uh three reverse six down uh 111 fuel tanks and 19 oxygen tanks a lot of fuel tanks in here Definitely you fill it up and go for a long time. Uh, 32 hour and 55 minute build time. Just using some Estrium and Zacosium. It does have a lot of weaponry. Um, and I have a feeling that a lot of it's kind of hidden away a little bit. I didn't see a whole lot of it sticking out. And we did see a couple guns on there going by. But uh, not all of them. Let me just make sure. Let me turn it on just so it's more visible there. CPU wise... Um, it, I do believe it said it was going to need some more CPU or 
or uh, this is a vanilla setup here. Um, that could be too. Not very well. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, more of a reforged Eden. I do believe it, uh, it would need some more CPU to uh, balance that out. Uh, tons of places to put that in on the ship there as well. And let's take a look at your storage. Okay, so the name I'm seeing here, let me just see, uh, Creator K, ID Show. Okay, so this name here is a little bit different than the name that is listed on the on the blue on the uh, blueprint description. It's, it's called the Mechanicus uh, Tyrant class there, but it's called the Shield of uh, uh, Ryza here. Okay, so storage. Uh, looks like we've got a container controller at 224k, a harvest controller at 224k, a lot of ammo boxes, a lot of ammo boxes. Uh, looks like around 20, well, 24 ammo boxes, I'm guessing. Um, and uh, some cargo pallets, and uh, yeah, okay. So we got basically the uh, the, the the two controllers uh, systems here at both uh, 224k. Ammo gets put in a lot of boxes. But uh, each one of those boxes is uh, 14K ammo. So I, it actually does hold quite a lot of ammo on here. Now you can kind of see all these turrets uh, that kind of stuck up out of everywhere here. So there are a lot of uh, embedded uh, turrets. Uh, there's some some that are not and others that I believe are retractable. Or either that or I just missed them when I was flying through here. And all those, those are retractable there. And these aren't. So some are, some aren't. Yeah, very cool. So again, this is the uh, Mechanicus Tyrant class by K, um, or potentially K1. I apologize for that. I think I have a weird typo on my sheet there. I thought it was just K, but for whatever reason, my sheet uh, says K1. Not sure how that happened. Uh, all right. Anyway, next creation here. This is a, uh, here, let me get the lights back on. This is a very unusual SV Miner. All right, uh, and this is the ob Obliteris, oh man, this is a hard one to say here, um, uh, Obliteracus, uh, LDSCPR MK2 uh, by, oh man, uh, Tepa Sopaturandi, uh, it, T E P A S O P A T R O D E N. By uh, so a uh, new author I'm unfamiliar with. Well, this is a pretty interesting uh, SV miner. It uh, it's basically it's designed to uh, cut swaths into the ground and turn it into cheese, uh, a particular kind of cheese um, that was on the uh, the description for this uh, creation. In fact, a little bit before the video, I just had to find out. So I, I made this hole with it over here, or this this kind of square hole, and it actually works. Like you could uh, fly this thing and just kind of uh, like strip mine uh, a, a chunk, a nice even chunk away of the of the ground with this, and that's kind of what it was made for, made to do as well. So it's uh, just a bunch of uh, mining drills kind of spaced out there. Cool looking laser over here, and you got your cockpit right on the front here. Got a couple of doors on the side there does have O2 in there, too. There's a oxygen right behind the seat, or a ventilator right behind the seat there. And a couple different texture lights going on. But other than that, yeah, just a, a very uh, unusual SV Miner. In fact, here, let me uh, just hop in here a second. I, I got to do it again because it's kind of fun. Um, so here, let me uh, take this up here. I'll switch over to uh, third person here for a second. And, uh, yeah, you can make really neat holes in the ground. Um, be pretty accurate with it, too. So you can just kind of uh, go across here and carve out sections here. So this is like more of a strip miner, I would say, if you're going to use it in game for or deposits and stuff. Uh, you can definitely get to them. Um, and uh, you can just kind of make these uh, ground formations. Again, it was uh, even on the uh, the description, though, was, uh, it was kind of... Uh, funny about uh its uses there so yeah really really cool there yeah uh, straighten you out put you back down the ground here 
Uh, it, does, it does work. It does work. You can be pretty accurate. I wasn't super accurate with my second hole there, but the first one I was trying, trying to be uh, pretty lined up there when I got I just couldn't help myself. I, I don't normally do that in, in these videos, but it's just fun doing it there. But uh, other than that, let's take a look at some numbers on this. Uh, so we are unlock level 20 size class uh, 1 or port, 0.57. Uh, 29 forward, 7 strafing, 36 lift, 44 reverse, and 21 down. 2 hour and 39 minute build time. Uh, it's got uh, 11 fuel tanks, 2 oxygen tanks, 15 of the uh, laser drills, a uh, minigun turret, a detector, and an alarm sensory. Now an alarm sensory, that's something I experienced a little bit. You can put that on a creation and basically it'll make an alarm sound um if there's a uh, enemy nearby um more or less more or less um sometimes it it would do some false alerts but uh yeah it's it's, it's a pretty cool it's a new uh newer kind of new reforged eden feature there's a lot of stuff in reforged eden though for, versus the uh the standard vanilla game uh cpu wise uh looks like it's set at uh, 32,000. uses 31 almost all of it right there which is uh, i think this translates to a core Core 5 setup, so your main core, uh, it's got two improved, one basics, and one advanced CPU core in there. Uh, see anything else here? Not really. Okay, so CPU, let's look at your storage. And we've got, it's like an ammo controller at 1,047. We've got two harvest controllers at uh, 320, or uh, I'm sorry, 32K each. This SV, not a not a CV. You're not going to see a 320k controller on a SV there. But yeah, very cool. And a Pentaxa tank. Um, Pentaxa tank. Do we, did we have a shield on here too? Let me just see what's going. Yeah, we do have a shield on here. Uh, 1490 stock shield. You know, I forgot to look at that on the other uh, creations over there. We got a couple P menu options for the shutters, which uh, open up the shutters to the cockpit, and then drills and turret. Uh, so. Yeah, very, very cool. So if you want to do some uh, some strip mining and turn everything into cheese, you've got a uh, a wide body uh, SV miner to do that. It's, yeah, it's kind of fun playing with this this kind of stuff. Um, and you can make some nice uh, trenches and paths if you wanted to clear out an area for a base or make a tunnel or something. Um, yeah, you can do that with uh, these kind of creations there. Very cool. So again, that is the, oh my god, I don't even want to say the day, but it is the Obliter Obliteracus LDS CPR MK2 by Tepa so Oh my god, I'm not even going to try, but <laughs> it's, in the video, it's in the video description. A uh, very, very cool creation, though. Uh, glad to see, I, li I like to see the uh, creativity there. So the next creation here, we've got... Uh, this, uh, this Star Destroyer over here, this is the, uh, Star Wars ISD Project 16 by Nordstein. Um, yeah, this looks really cool. This looks really cool. Now, this is, uh, definitely, definitely, uh, being a more of a replica of an actual Star Destroyer, uh, with the, uh, you know, the best shaping you could probably pull off with Imperium blocks. Um, and last, potentially, you, uh, got into structural frame blocks in Reforged Eden. You could, uh, could do the angle at a 3 to 1 ratio with those blocks um, on that. But uh, they have a side effect where you can't really paint them uh, the, to match the, the rest of the hall blocks very well. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, this, this looks really, really cool. I'm not sure if, um, you know, I've seen uh, some, uh, some Star Destroyers, uh, like block work of Star Destroyers around before, and but I don't think I've seen this one. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. This one uh, got some really cool uh, texturing going on in here too. It's got to fly around here and look at all the different detail pieces here. And there's there's a lot going on in here. Really really uh, sharp here. Kind of looks like we've got a lot of uh, turret mount positions and things like that up on the body here as well. But look at this whole uh, control tower area of the ship super detailed with the block work i like this uh like this setup here too using some of these uh different blocks here to create the i don't know, just neat neat looking uh formations and shapes and things like that in here 
Looks like a whole barrage of some big guns sitting right over here. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna expose your weapons. Now look at that. Whole whole chunk of artillery launchers there. And uh what is this? What is that? Repair station. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. SD industry special uh, warp drive. All kinds of LCDs over here. This is an unusual setup. So these are kind of on the side of the ship here. Warp drive controls. I don't know if uh, you're meant to remove this after you read it, um, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, that that is uh, that is really interesting there. Look at this control tower. Yeah, this looks pretty accurate, actually. I mean, for I mean, obviously, uh, for actual Star Destroyer in the movies and whatnot, um, I love how this this uh, these top uh, round pieces were done using the uh, deco part with the uh, the block work around it. We got a Wi-Fi right up top here, and a big old bulky bridge there. Uh, very fitting for a Star Destroyer. Yeah, just really cool shaping there. The big triangle pattern, and oh yeah, that thruster assembly. That's that's looking really really wild too man i wish there was some a couple different um blocks where you could make smooth angled pieces going at something like this that would be so cool in the game really benefit from that um but the author did what what, what they could there's no possible block solution to do uh an angle going up at an angle like this and it, it, there's just no way to pull it off so the author did the very best that could be done with doing a shape like that in Imperium blocks. Oh yeah, look at these thrusters. Oh, they, they got real thrusters in there too. But look at that uh, thruster housing around here. It's all kind of painted uh, blue to look like a, a flame. Wow, the thrust basically. And that really, it really pulls it off. Look at that. Look at this. It's texture lights there. Um, it. Yeah, that's pretty convincing. It, it makes obviously the Star Destroyers have really, really big thrusters on them, far bigger than that of what's in the game to use. But the author really did a really neat job on making the smaller thrusters look way bigger. It's just very cool. Yeah, I like the setup here too. I like the uh, the round blocks up in this area. Cool looking texture lights there too. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just admiring the uh, the body here of this uh, Star Destroyer. There is a, a lot of detail going on here, and the same thing going on that just the immense amount of, of busy work on the inside of the uh, the upper and lower frame, um, which is uh, very characteristic of that of uh, the Imperial faction in Star Wars specifically, or well. A lot of Star Wars creations, actually, but it's a really cool look. I love that look myself. And there's so much going on in here. Look at just all the little pipes and things and just all over the board. But that's kind of what it's supposed to be. You know, that's it's, uh, how these ships are set up there. Just a lot to look at in there. And around the front here. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. All right, so I'm going to try to find a way on board here. Obviously, uh... Well, let's just come in through where all this uh, advertisement is over here <laughs> for everything. Well, information, uh, warp drive controls. Yeah, just, just really interesting right there. All right, let me adjust the lighting here, too. Oh, it looks like we got a, we got some interior going on, too. Some of these Star Destroyers, I've seen so a lot of unfinished ones. Um, so I'm kind, of, you know, I'm kind of excited here because this kind of looks like it's all done up, which is really, really cool. It looks really awesome on the outside, too. Oh, look at the door set up here. The use of these uh, deco pieces on the sides of the door. That's a first. I haven't seen that one done before. That's cool. I like that. So double staircase getting in here. I st I'm still pretty light. Hold on. Let's try it about, about there. So, yeah, we're right up to the main bridge here. Got our pilot seat there. Uh... All kinds of interesting, like, uh, LCD work in here as well. And some information on the the outside there, too. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like, making displays, little buttons and things like that. 
get it to look Star Wars like and some uh, readout information over there and yeah right as you walk in too it looks like we got some production right here by the bridge a couple of storage controllers or or controllers in general advanced constructor fridge another advanced constructor on this side more storage medical bay another fridge armor repair another uh, controller right up top over here I'll check this out over here well, that's cool another uh, advanced constructor some storage boxes another storage controller I like this the setup here the black floor with the uh, LCD logo on there that's cool armor locker there it's like you even got a uh, good old-fashioned shower over there and uh, main elevator there so uh, I'm gonna go this way first before I go up and down the elevators try to minimize how far I get lost <laughs> Uh, deconstructor room over here as well. I like how everything is very convenient, very close to the bridge. It's a big ship, so it's kind of neat. Uh, well, uh, less less than you're walking around. And it looks like back over here. Okay, so we've got a. Okay, so we do got a lot of unfinished, uh, well areas, but down over here. So a lot of uh, we got our like embedded thrusters in there. Looks like there's actually hangar doors coming in here too. Um, yeah wow yeah so i mean this is a big ship uh if you yeah we got solar in here too uh, uh, a bunch of the xl thrusters in this general area over here i know this probably isn't what uh is really meant to be shown here but uh yeah just seeing what's underneath there so i can see i can kind of see now why everything's uh uh like production everything's really close by so it although it being a really big ship Oh, we got farms too. Hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting a little lost here. So well, yeah, it looks like we got a pretty good uh, grow plot farm set up here. Let's see how this links up. I think I ended up on. No, I just okay. This is uh, just further back on the same deck I was on. I walked in right through there. So the farms were right straight back here, and just past the uh, deconstructor room area. And these doors here, oh, it looks like they're just, uh, this goes outside kind of like the other side there. Yeah. So really cool. So yeah, it's a, it's a big Star Destroyer, but you've got like your built out ship area that's in the general bridge area over here. Um, and then the rest of the ship is kind of uh, parts and things down below, um, making up the rest of the, uh, the Star Destroyer, I think. Let me fly around a little bit more and see if there's anything else. Um, interior wise, Let's see if there's, uh, oh yeah, there is. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute. We've got some more, more stuff going on here. It looks like on the bottom side. Oh yes. I didn't even look at the bottom side before. Oh, that's cool. I like how the uh, texture lights are done on the ceiling there. So we got a, uh, yeah, this, uh, lift up hanger. Uh, again, uh, the actual star destroyers have this, which is really, really cool. And this gets down into a hangar bay down over here. Oh, that looks that looks neat like the uh the texture or the uh the actual lights over here that are in a blinking formation cool looking cosmetics there this uh this random piece that just kind of walks off to the side there kind of like a, a crane or um, mechanical arm to pick up cargo from a ship or something like that and big big ramp over here going down this way Probably had that on this side too, didn't we? No, actually not. So yeah, then your your ground ramp there. It looks like it's hooked up on a sensor. And med bay and oh yeah, there is more. Okay, so this goes out into the unfinished here. I think I think it, on the uh, description of of the workshop description, it did say that it was kind of a a work in progress as well. I do believe so. It's probably uh, you know there's a uh, yeah areas that are un kind of unfinished yet, but it, uh, the areas that are finished are looking really, really good. I like that. Like this, this looks awesome over here too. Looks like some uh, some interesting stuff in there. Obviously, uh, when I see the S and the A, it looks like uh, small shield parts. I believe would go there. Uh, so like small shield part one, two, three. You're gonna get get up to eight of those in there. Um, and then we got a place for a warp drive over here. 
and some advanced generators a lot of fuel tanks back over here place for a uh, shield and our pentaxi tank of course lots of strafing thrusters so it looks like it's uh it's underway on the uh the interior build out but yeah giant creation well really really big creation like this it's it would take it i mean it's a it's a lot it's a lot to build out uh an interior for a ship this size um and then when you're all done with it a lot of it ends uh, so much of it would end up being fluff um and things like that that it kind of just kind of ramps up your size class and doesn't really offer any more functionality in gameplay but yeah i definitely i definitely like this this is really really cool looking really cool looking uh star destroy very accurate too it just it looks you know right right on to what it should look like yeah very nice very nice well, let's look at a couple uh, some numbers here so we are unlock level 25 size class 23 44 uh forward 56 strafing 55 lift 57 reverse 50 uh down 40 fuel tanks 77 oxygen tanks there's a good uh again a good reason for a lot of oxygen tanks in a creation like this as well as fuel tanks um it's a lot of room to uh to have oxygen and you just need a lot otherwise you can't even turn on the oxygen so it's um when you see a, a big creation like this and it's got a lot of oxygen tanks there is a good reason for it um weapon wise looks like we've got uh, quite a lot of the artillery cannons we've seen those right on the front 12 of those and then we got some sentry guns uh we even have a retractable drill and multi-turret on here as well um other than that i think the author was trying to keep the i don't know i don't know i don't know if the author was trying to keep the cpu down or not but it looks like obviously there's a lot more places for turrets on here um a 34 hour and 32 minute build time uses a little bit of xeno quite a lot of estrium and zacosium again all the big xl thrusters to get this uh moved around um and cpu wise yeah those big xl thrusters they take a lot of cpu doesn't look like any cpu blocks are put in here so you could kind of uh customize you know if you want to bring it into vanilla maybe you could get by with the uh, the four advanced cpu cores bring it up to 10 million cpu i don't think it would translate quite that way but um yeah anyway that's it's really cool really cool uh let's take a look at uh storage on here so oh yeah everything's kind of labeled out here so so we got a uh a con so these are boxes actually or i think they're boxes um blocks ores one and two I'm not sure if it has any actual uh storage controllers in here or not um 16k what is a 16k not sure kind of looks like they're all around 8 to 16k boxes uh i don't know oh ammo right here so well it says ammo but it's not actually uh i don't think it's actually an ammo controller though Oh, interesting but yeah it's a, it's it's a work in progress so yeah obviously um just a lot more stuff uh but it's, it's a giant project uh building something like this takes an incredibly long time uh the whole design is uh really really super accurate the interior areas that are finished off look really good um and i'm like liking to see uh like some of the texturing in here with the the darks and the just stuff um you know it's all about yeah you see this looks really cool actually what the author did too this is the last thing sticks out a little bit more at night but these are like windows like but you're, you just got to kind of adjust your scale like doesn't that look like a multiple story buildings on each one of those areas and those are like glass windows or uh you know with lights on the insides around there it just makes it, it scales it up to make it look really really big that way um and that's kind of you know and it's supposed to be i mean these things are really big and uh in the shows obviously it had to be scaled down considerably even where it's at right here versus the actual size of a star destroyer but yeah very very cool um one last thing uh in the p menu i just okay want to see if we do have some p menu options here uh for miners and ice and wow yeah quite a few options radar
No, oh, all right. Well, again, this is the uh, Star Wars, well, the full name, the Star Wars ISD Project 16 by Nordstream. Very, very cool. All right, so the next creation here, that's another big in Big one, big one, big one. This is the uh, Icarus RE by Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, let me get the lights back on here a little bit. And this is a big carrier. A uh, big one. Um, yeah, look at that. That's wild. Well, it's kind of like it's got this uh, the center area here. That's almost like it's a carrier in itself and then there's the uh the big section on the bottom here um which is uh big uh, runways going down here same thing you got runways going on on the top part um there's a lot of features here to look at this is really neat looking look at that so it kind of looks like it's a big uh like hydraulic uh, ramp that would uh, go down um with all the cargo and the boxes on it here oh, i love all the block work around here kind of making that looks like it would uh work i tell you what i i'd like to break into another game that's has some similarities to imperium and steal some of its parts and you could actually make this work uh some pistons over here um in that other game uh called space engineers <laughs> um yeah you could uh actually make some a mechanism like this actually work that would be so cool i'd love to see it in this game really would Looks like we got some module bays here too i'll check this out Oh yeah, I you know I gotta look in the description. Are these straight up? Uh, I gotta see if they're Helios bays or not. Kind of looks like they are, but yeah, well yeah, the uh, the front docking here, the door, the standard size door. I'd have to count blocks on uh, the width and dimensions, but it certainly looks like it's a like a Helios setup going on over here for a module bay. I love this. Uh, love the block work. Uh, this. This stuff over here again it looks oh that's cool like big uh like piston shocks pieces that come out there and uh again and yeah i love uh how the author made although these things don't work um it kind of looks like they they do work you know what i mean it's just uh really cool really cool seeing that kind of engineering aspect in there same old thing over here so we've got at least uh if, we, if we're mirroring on the other side, we got at least four module bays. Yep. And then in between the module bays, looks like there's a big blast door hanger in there, too. And another hanger. No, that's a module bay. My, my bad. What is going on down here? It's like a landing gear. Oh, that's cool, too. Again, a big, a big mechanism here for, for landing. In fact, I kind of want to set this down on the ground to see what that looks like there. I had it up in the air so I could see the bottom a little easier and things like that. But that is, that's cool. That's, uh, I like how these extend down and kind of look uh, mechanical like they would uh, fold out or, or whatnot. Yeah, again, I would love to have actual parts in, in Imperium that did that kind of thing. Uh, would be amazing. And then we've got like our upper area here, obviously uh, big old runways on either side, uh, big landing pad on the back. Looks like a, a place to land or park down in from the top. And you got your central uh, control tower area here. That looks really good too. Yeah, kind of a lot of uh, a lot of breakups and changes uh, made on its way there. Some radar up here. Oh, I like this uh, setup here too with the uh, thin block over the edge there. Oh, and this is all like a, a blinky light formation going along the sides here too. And wood grain, wood grain down the middle there to give it some uh, some color contrast in the in the uh, setup there. That, that is pretty interesting. Oh man, look at that! It goes down into like a lower hanger from the front. Man, this thing has a lot of places to put stuff. A lot of places. Holy smokes. Yeah, this would be like a faction carrier here. So bring the whole fleet of a faction and all their creations along with you. Obviously some, some guns and weapons all over the place too. I just like all these little subtle detail pieces around like like what this is. Like some kind of, I don't know, ventilation 
machines that are hooked up to the inside or something um, circulate the air in the ship like things like that it's kind of kind of cool seeing all that oh wow oh, look at that oh that's cool so yeah when you're uh, like if you're taking off with like a air flying you know jet there you know on a actual uh, like aircraft carrier You'd have something like that to uh, that uh, deflects because you got your your for your your thrust kicking off, big time heat and stuff coming off the back there when you're uh, when you're taking off and uh, that's a shield to uh, not have that thrust go and burn up everything behind it, uh, which is really really cool. Nicely thought out there. Uh, what can you, what can you say? That's that's cool. All right. Well, my goodness, this thing is gigantic. Um, I guess I'm going to get aboard here. Obviously, you can probably look at the body uh, and a lot of features for a while longer, but uh, got to keep moving on here a little bit. So let me... Oh, I didn't even barely adjust the lighting here. Get a little bit darker again. I wish there was a setting where I could set it where everything looked good, you know, the, the right lighting. It's either, like, it's either too dark or it's too bright or it's too, like, like when I go to dust and it puts in all that yellow yellow uh sunset kind of lighting in here so it's it's hard to capture the the actual look on, on what it was intended to be um but okay so anyway we're in uh let's see we came in the uh, the bottom section of the ship i think yes okay so we're in the the lower part of this uh massive carrier and it looks like we've got uh I was going to say, I thought maybe that was some upgrade stuff, but I, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Looks like just a lot of block work there. Obviously, you could put some parts there, but. And we got, uh, looks like some uh, shower and bathroom on either side here. Yep. So, uh, what's that? Uh, maybe a place for some, some generators or something. I wonder, is there any P menu options? A lot of them. I just want to see if there's something about... Um, I'm going to turn on everything. Um, something about like part upgrades or something like that. But um, Oh, wow. So we got a big glass going down the side here. And we've got some large shield parts in here. And a lot of uh, pipe work and things like that connecting them. It looks like uh, places for more large shield parts beyond what's already here. I would say that would be another... Another one there and there, so probably uh, uh, eight large shield parts. Uh, it's got four of them in stock. And let's get back out to this main hangar here, or one of the main hangars. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of open area, and this kind of connects to. Wow, this is gigantic on on the inside here. Uh, it goes to the uh, big side blast doors, and then it uh, looks like we got a ramp going down to the the ground there for. Uh, some smaller uh, HVs or or whatnot. This is really interesting with the uh, the wall design there. Kind of got the framework slits in there, and yeah, that looks cool too. Up on the top here, some uh, some tanks or uh, whatnot. Just a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on. You can see what the author did with the ceiling too. There's a lot of uh, formation. Kind of looks like a structure and beams building up everything which is uh very cool as well and then we go to this uh this front area down in here which kind of goes up to the uh the main flight deck uh or one of the flight decks <laughs> i don't know i'd say it's the bigger flight deck so uh, I'll, I'll we'll call that one the main all right so let's take this elevator here and see where we end up at All right, so now we're getting into some uh, some cushy area here. We got some uh, more carpeted floors in here. Really bright. I mean, I got it pretty dark outside. Um, here, I'm gonna actually since it's bright in here, let's go a little bit darker out there. And uh, yeah, that's a nice and uh, nice and clean up in, in here. Looks like we got a central elevator that's gonna go up further. Uh, let's get around to holy smokes. All right, so this is not, yeah, this is like another whole massive hangar on the top section. And, oh, yeah, look at this over here. we got like this whole, uh, 
uh, kind of a production area over here with some seats, small constructors, uh, a mass constructor. Um, a lot of fridges. Uh, <laughs> my, wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could read that, but uh, cash paid up front. Yeah, yeah. Track for you. <laughs> Ship quota. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So I wonder if Life Force had something to do with this uh, build um, as well. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's cool. Or an inside joke between the, uh, the the various authors there. That cool looking setup here. I like the boxes over here. What is going on over here? Oh my! What? Private order for J. Oh, I see what's going on here. Oh, texture gun that paints all the patterns. <laughs> yeah. Don't we want that? Yes, yes. I want to be. Yep. <laughs> Didn't expect that. That's very cool. Very cool. So, yep. I see what's going on here. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, wow. So, balcony is over here. Man, yeah, here. I'll, I'll go a little bit brighter in this area. It, it, you know how unbelievably hard it is to try to lay up a big open area like this with the... Uh, uh, the only thing you really can do it with are spotlights, and they're way too bright and obnoxious for inside of uh, hangars. Well, I don't know if they are or not. I've used them on one ship before once, but just an option to turn them on because, I don't know. Um, it is hard to light up things very nicely, though. But the author did a good job here. There's a lot of lights in the uh, creation. Looks like we're running some pretty uh, spiffy CPU cores as well here. I, I would expect it. This is a big ship. It's going to be needing a lot of... Um, CPU to pull all this off, I do believe. But it is it is really quite bright in here. Um, hold on, I gotta see how bright it actually. Let's just take a sample light here. Uh, what are you running? Oh, it's only intensity one. Okay, it's got the big range on it, but okay, wasn't sure. Seems bright. But yeah. Oh man, I think I'm gonna get lost. Where are we now? Ah, we got some small shield parts over in this area. And it looks like this would probably be like a big uh, missile torpedo room kind of thing here. That's uh, That was my first impression there. Kind of a loading bay. Yeah, check that out. Oh, that's cool. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of, lot of stuff going on in here. Oh, these are... Uh, Surface launch. Okay, so yeah, you'd open up the doors on the top. Oh, and they do. They do open up. And yeah, you launch a whole lot of um, whole lot of missiles, whole lot of missiles and things from there. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Yeah, look at that. They even got the like the uh, the rocket thrusters on the bottom part there. Sorry, I'm kind of flying around a little haphazardly here, but oh my goodness, there's a lot of ship here. Wi-Fi and a central elevator there. Some armed guards. Where is this going? Oh, wow. Big old cafeteria over here. Food processors. We got our menu up top over here. You can buy treasure maps. And a Dino stew. That's pretty appropriate for, for Imperium, actually. There's uh, quite a few... Uh, dinosaur-like uh, creatures running around there. So across over here, looks like we got a uh, med, med bay. Cool-looking wall architecture there. Oh, yeah, this looks this looks neat. I like that uh, big glass opening going into, like, the, uh, the, the, the sick bay part over here. Oh, yeah, all the different beds. And we do actually have our specialized medical equipment all in this general area over here. Outside window. Yeah, very cool. Wow. Um, mess hall. So, the, yeah, okay, so I, I missed the LCD coming in here, but it was the mess hall. And then we're back.
back to one of the hangars over here. We've got some CPU blocks. Yeah, we've, we've already walked up in this area. Oh, man. Um, I know i got to get topside and see more stuff up there. I'm going to cheat. Let's find a... Let's find a way in from the flight deck here, which is, yeah, that looks really cool. Um, so the central area, lower floor of that at least. Okay, so we've, we've walked into there, so this kind of, it all ties together. We got the central elevator there, another uh, medical bay off from the, uh, the uh, flight deck. I believe we're going to get up to the bridge here. No, we're going to get up to a teleporter. Oh, very cool. All set up on a sensor there to save power. Um, and then we walk up this way. Oh, we got our passenger seats, and then we got the bridge here. Oh, yeah, look at that uh, that glasswork here. It's using, like, some tinted glass. <coughs> oh, excuse me using some tinted glass and uh, some open glass there so that's so this is this is literally all glassed off over there but it almost looks like you're out, like practically outside but you're not so a lot of visibility going on there and then you've got your teleporter right in front yeah oh, that's cool that's cool kind of a second deck up on the top there like seeing that on some bridges on the, especially bigger ships that are actually kind of uh, separated into a couple different floors uh, that uh, always looks really cool. Again, I, yeah, I like the way the uh, the author did the landing pads on here too. Get some pretty decent detail in there with all the uh, thin block, and then some texture lights, and then the uh, the timed lighting um, that you can, you can kind of see what's going on there. It's going to kind of go into formation, start from one side to the other side. It's doing that on the lower flight deck as well. Now I'm pretty sure I missed stuff in the ship here. Um, it, again, this is a big, big, big ship. Uh, yeah, like like this here I didn't even look at. Wow. It, you've got hangers and everything everywhere. I mean, uh, big ones. Uh, they just wrap around. And, but uh, from what I can tell, too, everything kind of connects so you can get to everything from inside the ship on multiple different decks and floors. Wow. Wow. Looks like this crew area over here. That's kind of in front of this wall here that I, yeah, it uh, leads into uh, one of the uh, the big central main hangars here. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, um, my goodness. I just keep on seeing more and more stuff, though. I was trying to, uh, I know this video is going to be so darn long already, and uh, I'm trying to sort it a little bit, but I didn't realize how big some of these creations were going to be. This is a this is a big one here. Very cool, very cool looking um, like carrier. Now I'm trying trying to guesstimate what the size class of this is. Um, let's say offhand without looking at it. Let's say 25. Let's go with 25. See what happens. Um, no, I'm way off. 42, 42. Size class 42. Holy smokes, that is almost the same size class as well, pretty close, pretty close to the the biggest creation I ever made, um, the MCRN Leviathan. Um, this it reminds me a little bit of it too, but this has got the module base, which is really really cool. So anyway, spec wise, uh, obviously size class uh, 42, unlock level 25, 28 forward, 19 strafing, 28 lift, 29 reverse, 29 down, um, 70 fuel tanks, uh, 24 oxygen tanks. Pretty big barrage of weapon loadouts on here, including uh, EMP cruise missile launcher. Going to use a fair amount of estrium and zacosium, um, and uh, quantum quantum CPU cores and things like that. Um, I kind of expected that too. I mean, again, big ship like this, a lot of thrusters. You can uh, chew through CPU super super fast, trying to move uh, creations around. Um, CPU wise, oh look at that! It's balanced though. It is balanced uh, how it comes, and it's got actually a lot of leftover CPU. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. 
Didn't expect that. So yeah, all balanced off. Um, stock shield on here, 65,275. Got a lot of P menu options for drills and decon drills, radar, gravity, hydroponics. You know, I missed a farm. BBQs. <laughs> I wonder if that's, uh, I'm not sure. Deconstructors, constructors. I missed areas on this ship. I know I have. There's just so many places. God. And look how, I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at your storage. So we've got, oh, all the storage is nicely labeled here. So it looks like we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, cargo controllers in here. Uh, bras of uh, four six forties, a bunch of four hundreds, a couple three sixties, and even all the uh, the boxes and things are uh, color coded and labeled. Got four three hundred twenty k ammo boxes, two three hundred twenty k harvesters. Or har uh, harvest controllers. Sold to Life Force. Yeah, so, yeah, Life Force is into fridges. And um, I'm definitely into my uh, my color texture tool. <laughs> I want one that does all textures, all colors. All right. <laughs> ah, very cool. So, again, this is... The Icarus RE by Captain Jack Sparrow, which is basically a big, I would I would classify this as a fleet carrier uh, to, uh, or faction carrier or something like that. A very, very cool, very cool creation. Definitely like that. All right, so the next one, um, this is the uh, Tile Airship Theater of uh, Fra, uh, F R A U Fra Blutcher by Jalor or or Jalor. Um, yeah, this looks this is this is pretty wild here. This is a CV. I get it. Kind of looks like a base, but it is a uh, a CV like a a really cool, interesting like city like CV. Very sci-fi. Oh, that's got like a big old brick. Is that brick? Oh, it's more of a, like a wood grain uh, building there. A couple, yeah, like like a, like a city compound here on a ship. Yeah, more of an airship kind of thing. Oh, that's that's cool. Green thrusters. Don't see that too often. Well, blue and uh, yeah, it's all like uh, like wood grain. So this is like a more of an old school ship. Steampunkish, I would say. Uh, yeah, this is really, really cool. But a lot of detail going on in here. Let me up the lighting a bit here, too. Oh, I love this um, front of the ship piece here with the uh, all the some artillery uh, cannons on the front there and some other stuff going on. Oh, that's yeah, very interesting. A lot of uh, some different colors in here too. So you got some some browns, there's some grays, darker tones, a lot of different textures. You got some steel, kind of in the mix there. So definitely, uh, definitely that steampunk kind of vibe going on here. Like some big airship slash city kind of thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. These would be your like uh, forward. Uh, air propeller kind of things and uh, this area kind of actually reminds me of like a little bit of a bottom side of a, like a blimp or airship well it is an airship that's in the name <laughs> I look at that on the inside interesting how, how some of the glass is like tinted and some isn't I believe that was intentional um, it's just kind of a cool effect there. It kind of breaks that up a little bit. And pipes going on in there. Oh, wow, look at this. We got a dance party going on in this room. This dude, uh, this dude escapes all physics here. He just, uh, glass isn't going to hold him back. 
Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It, it's just fun seeing all this, uh, all the creativity here. This is really, really creative. I, I really dig it. I, I really do dig this. This is uh, so unusual. Again, now look at these. Like, are these like wind turbines or? Oh no, this would keep it up in the air. This, these would like spin and give it lift. Ah, wow. This uh, this building over here is almost like a castle keep in the middle there. Big round towers. Yeah, there's a lot to look at on this one too. A lot of detail going on in these different areas. And some of this, this almost kind of looks like it could be. I don't know what it is. I'm not even going to speculate. I thought maybe it could be like a thruster thing. It did say that this uh, creation here was a uh, airship theater, though. And um, here comes the theater. Oh, that's this is oh wow. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is all, like all this designer glass uh, graphics back over here. And then yeah, you do have your theater back over here. You got uh, seats for everybody to check it out. Um, Got some uh, hatches going down below here, and it looks like uh, yeah your uh, your stage uh, looks like a lot of tech tech crew are trying to figure out uh, how to get the sound system right right now. Maybe they had, they had a little uh, issue with uh, some of the speakers blew an amp or something. I'm not sure. They're uh, they're figuring that out, getting it all planned out for the uh, the show later on. Wow. Again, like a city. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Kind of, uh, yeah, that's a nice little uh, deco touch there. Kind of the, the vented pipes. Looks very uh, uh, ship-like. Some stacks there. Yes. Yeah. Quite an experience walking around this. Man, it's cool seeing all these uh, different kinds of things uh, being created here. Then this here, I'll uh, adjust the lighting a little bit here again. I don't know if I should keep, well, I kind of want to do that because I know some creations really, uh, really dial in the light to give it a, a really neat looking uh, theme. Like, uh, it looks way different with the lighting versus like bright sunlight kind of thing. So I, I always want to try to show that. But yeah, kind of a can be a problematic sometimes too. A lot of pictures in here. So it looks like uh, this probably looks like a. Uh, what are these guys doing? I'm trying to figure out the uh, the uh, like the RP value here. Um, I was gonna say that. Oh, maybe a, like a, a trader zone. I would say maybe that's it. Like a, like an exchange. Like you're you're trading. Uh, stuff and these guys are all uh buying and selling or something like that um would be my best guess i see some cargo boxes around um it's not food based so it's not like a big cafeteria with a whole bunch of different shops unless it is could it be like a one of those uh mall like uh things that have a whole bunch of different uh uh restaurants but yeah there's no fridges so that kind of got to rule that out so what's up top here it's like a lot more uh, cargo and things like that. Some wallpaper going on in here. Some ladders. Uh, that's looking over the... Uh, I didn't even notice the LCDs there before. The uh, That's cool. Music LCDs. Up top over here. Kind of a fancy tiled floored uh, office area. Or a uh, well, place to sit and chill. Kind of overlooking the uh, the stage. And over here, it looks like we got more of a, uh, let's say kind of a, yeah, meeting area. I don't know about a, about a lounge necessarily, but, uh, yeah. And uh, some more. Got ar some armor lockers over here. Oh, man. So what's, what's behind here? Looks like we're up in the ventilation ducts. Oh, I got a sneaky way to, uh, holy smokes. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is another whole theater. 
in the front area under the uh, the more dome ceiling area. Oh wow! Yeah, no kidding. This is uh, yeah, this is the second one. I thought I, I oh wow, it was not kidding, was it? So what do we got going on here? Now showing, it came from outer space. <laughs> Ah, oh, enjoy Xerox sandwiches in the cafeteria. Please stay out of the engine rooms. Coming soon, the blob. Ah, uh, yeah, very cool, very cool. A lot, of, a lot of fun, fun times here. That's cool. I like this. Uh, I like this uh, whole theater area over here too. It looks like we got another overlooking balcony here to uh, see the theater. The VIP is can come on over here. Man, I think we were there before. Where does this go? Oh, of course, to more, more places over here. What a what an unusual grace at all. It's just uh, that's cool, fun to tour. Kind of uh yeah like a like a like a vacation, vacation uh, spaceship. Like you're gonna go out for a week to the uh, the outer moons, traveling in this uh, in this particular uh, creation here. Oh, and some towers on the sides here, too. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's wild. Wild. Very wild creation here. Yeah, also, the author detailed everything very nicely, though, too. It, uh, yeah, it just looks really, really interesting. Really interesting. Like, right out of uh, some kind of... Sci uh, different sci-fi verse, steampunk oriented. I don't know. I, it's hard to even explain, but it's yeah, it's really, really, really cool. Well, let's look at some numbers here. So unlock level 25, size class 4, tw uh, 38 forward, 10 strafing, 21 lift, uh, 19 reverse, and 10 down. Uh, 14 fuel tanks, 16 oxygen tanks, 21 hour and 5 minutes. Build time. It's going to use a little bit of uh, Estrium and Zacosium. Got three artillery cannons, uh, six minigun turrets, three plasma turrets. CPU-wise, pretty light on CPU. really is. This is RE that I'm showing this in, and it's only um, actually uh, here temporarily. Uh, probably screw something up from that. So yeah, uh, I guess it's just running four C, uh, advanced CPU cores. So it looks like it would be completely compatible with vanilla and RE at the same. <coughs> Excuse me again, man. Yeah, compatible with both at the same time. That's cool. So again, this is the uh, the Tile Airship Theater Fran Blutcher by Jalor. If I said that better i don't know i probably probably butchered the name a little bit but yeah very very cool very interesting um i don't know if this is a replica if this came from a particular sci-fi franchise or some kind of franchise uh, but it's very very cool I, i'm not familiar with it but it's very 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 cool all right so the next one here the last creation today is this guy over here this is the uh oh man the uh va Vachet Kessel. Oh my God! You guys and your names, man. I, I know I can't read some of my own names either, but this is the V A C H A T H I C A S S I E L by Barefoot and Hillbilly. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a bunch of letters. No, um, I'm sure that means something. I got I'll, I'll I'll try to look that up after I do this uh, video here. But um, Vachet Kessel. Castle, I don't even know how to say that. These these words, uh, these words escape me here. I want to make sure we got power in you. We do. Okay. So anyway, yeah, this is another another CV, a uh, smaller CV, not super super small, but pretty small, yeah, com comparatively speaking to the other ones that were we've seen <laughs> floating around here right now. But um, yeah, this, this looks really cool. I'm gonna get the lighting better here. This oh, my lighting looks terrible right now. Interesting color scheme on this one. It's kind of going for that, uh, I don't know, that uh, kind of 
kind of military look, but just some not necessarily either because you got some reds in there and some some yellows and uh, grays and some different greens and there's just a lot of uh, a lot of different colors going on in here but it looks pretty authentic i like that it's just a uh, unusual color scheme but it really works for it um i like this uh tone difference here between like the gray and the greens and the cut-ins over on the uh the side over here And then, yeah, you got some reds in there, too. Almost like it was a mouth. Or something. But not really. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just really unusual. I don't know if it's based on a, on a replica or something like that. Um, the name sounds pretty authentic, too. Uh, although I can't pronounce it. But it, it sounds pretty authentic. Yeah, look at that. The brighter greens, darker greens, the red, the gray. There's probably some other tones in here I didn't even see yet. A lot of detail going on. Um, yeah, just a really, really unusual looking uh, ship here. I love this uh, bridge set up here with this, uh, I don't know, block work kind of above the glass. That looks really neat. And then the glass kind of wraps around, curves around actually, the sides over here. Obvious places for some some weapons or upgrade pieces there. Probably weapons. Maybe thrusters. I guess it's possible, too. I like these uh, thruster housing uh, units here. Uh, it's kind of going straight, and it angles off back this way, and then it goes into the, uh, the actual like thruster pod area uh, with divider blocks kind of in between there. That's really cool. Yeah, very, very interesting look on this one. Now, with the color scheme, too, I mean, the, um, one other uh, thing that I think of, um, uh, I should say it, oh, I, well, maybe it's kind of funny, but kind of reminds me of a little bit like a frog, <laughs> frog, frog coloring, like, like uh, uh, a little bit, too. I don't know. It's just, uh, it's interesting. It's, uh, it's the reds and then the, the yellows and the greens and the, and this is almost like more of a brownish tone and. The grays and oh my goodness, there's there's just a lot of color going on here. In here, I like this side hanger door. All they're uh, painted that way as well. All right, well let's get a board here and see what's uh, going on. I don't know if I went quite dark enough here. Cool looking hanger, I like that. Uh, and we got some doors on the uh, this side over here as well. Some storage uh, boxes. Looks like a repair bay. Yep, a repair bay right there. The console's right in the corner. Got a uh, switch over here on this, which opens up. Oh, our CPU core blocks. Chilling over there. That's a nice looking uh, setup for that. Quite a bit of different, like, color choices and things going on on the interior as well. Um, the darker hangar floor, the, the, some of the green walls, the gray accents, some of the uh, the red tones here and there. Uh, well, like the uh, that part there, some whites even or lighter lighter grays. Looks like we got ground access from the uh, the sides of the uh, hangar. Armor locker right above there. O2 in a med bay. All the convenient stuff you'd want as soon as you walk into a ship. That yeah, nice. Head up the uh, staircase here. I'll try to go just a little bit darker here with the lights. So this kind of wraps around. Ah, rather not using the elevators. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like the elevators very much either. But yeah, this is cool. This looks uh, a little different look in this room. I like how that's done up there. Very technical. I was going to say uh, it kind of looks a little bit medical, but it's not really. But, uh, oh, we do have an elevator here, too. So we, we took the staircase, but there was another way. I bet you this is going to get us right back down to the uh, hangar. Yep. And we got a mid-floor. Whoops. Just happened there. There we are. And, oh, yeah, look at this. Another, like, uh, a medical section here. Teleporter room. Like that. That's cool. 
our main CPU core right there. And then uh, I got some walkways up over here, kind of an observation room on that side. And yeah, I think I got that on that side. So we're on two right now, obviously back down to the main hangar. There's quite a bit on board this ship. It's, uh, it's bigger than you think it is. And yeah, okay, so we walked up those staircases there. And we got some airlocks on the sides here. Oh, I like how that's done. That looks cool. The LCD, and let's get you outside kind of on the outer way. So another quick way into the ship right next to the bridge. And cool looking uh, bridge too. Very unusual glass work and stuff going on the on the sides over here. And I got, uh, looks like a couple of pilot seats. Actually, your main pilot seat and your couple of co-pilots over there. And then the backseat drivers are back over here. <laughs> um, I think that's I think that's the whole ship. So yeah, it's kind of a kind of a hangar based uh, repair ship. Um, unless I miss stuff, it's very possible I miss stuff too. But um, let me just fly around in the hall a little bit more. See if there's anything that uh, I did miss. So it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like it does any farming or any of that kind of thing. Um, so pretty much, uh, oh, we got some crew areas that I did miss. How do you access this? Oh, right off, okay, so uh, deck four from the main elevator. Get you back into this section. Oh, we do have farming. Wait, I spoke way too soon, didn't I? Yeah, check that out. Yeah, nine grow plots there. I just missed this deck, that's why. And probably another good nine grow plots on this side, a couple of fridges. So yeah, kind of a, does it all kind of ship. Uh, and then above here, it looks like we have, um, oh, yeah, I just, so this is on uh, deck, deck five. So deck five is not that of the bridge, is it? That's kind of like a, a deck above it. So we got crew rooms up in here. And then, uh, yeah, some uh, consoles. I like how the floor is done, so you can kind of see underneath the floor. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Interesting ship, definitely interesting ship. Uh, looks pretty practical, though. I mean, it's got the uh, neat-looking hangar in it, uh, quite a bit of space. I like the side entry points. It's got uh, so, uh, some farming, some production, med bays. Uh, it's got really kind of everything you'd want in here. I'm kind of curious on, uh, but I'm not seeing a lot of guns. That I, uh, well, some. Let's see what this costs. I'm curious. So, unlock level 25, size class 5. Uh, 45 forward, 22 strafing, 42 lift, 28 reverse, 35 down, 6 fuel tanks, 6 oxygen tanks. Does have 8 cannon turrets. A uh, single missile turret and two minigun turrets, plus a detector, 22 hour and 28 minute build time. Uh, a little bit of Estrium and Zacosium in there. Uh, did, did have the 18 grow plots. Um, does have a shield in it, uh, 15,725 stock shield. CPU-wise is uh, Core 9 setup. So, yeah, not, not trying to break the bank or anything like that. Right up into uh, Core 9, no Quantums or Auxiliary cores needed. Uh, let's take a look at your storage here. So we got an ammo controller at 67k. Uh, it looks like we got four uh, cargo controllers. Looks like they're fluctuating a bit in size. So we got two 120s and two 139s in there. And then beyond that, just uh, some freezers and uh, various other things there. Cargo pallet. Yeah, very very cool. I like that. I I'm I'm just really curious if this is a uh, a replica. Um, and I'm not I'm not familiar with it. Uh, if it is, or if it's just an original uh, creation, just the color scheme is so unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything painted quite like this, or or, or running this uh, set of colors on it. Um, very very unusual. Uh, cool though. Definitely cool. Yeah. Let me just fly up in here a second. I think this is all about business, or is it? Oh, I missed this. Oh, I missed these airlocks here. 
Yeah, there's more parts of the ship I missed. I'm sorry, guys, if I missed something in uh, the creations today, like this whole area. Oh, my God. I didn't even see this. Um, there's these uh, the creations are so big. This video is going on so long. I'm I'm worried to death of it. I uh, didn't realize how big some of these were gonna be once I uh, got them in the the game here. So that uh, yeah, and I was like, oh man, how am I gonna pull this one off? Uh, but anyway, yeah, that that is that is very very cool. So again, very cool creations by everyone. Um, definitely definitely check these out on the uh, the Steam Workshop. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing, like, some of the ones that are, uh, like, kind of uh, unfinished yet or whatnot. Uh, eventually, ho hopefully, they, they get finished up. I know it's a, a tremendous amount of work, though. Um, uh, big ships like the Star Destroyer over there. Some just really cool, innovative creations. Like, have you ever, ever seen anything quite like this before? It's really cool. I mean, but I, and I can't say I've really seen anything like it. I've got, a, like, a fleet carrier over here. And I uh, just... Uh, uh, some more Warhammer stuff. Warhammer is getting quite a quite a few ships going on for it. There's probably going to be quite a extensive Warhammer uh, faction going on here too. So other than that, y'all have yourself a great weekend, and I will uh, talk to you later.